John Dunnigan Golf, master the game, not just the swing. Hi folks, what I would like to show you about is how important making centered contact is on your drive. You can almost replace me for the price of a dry erase marker. This is a TrackMan. This is a TrackMan Performance Studio software and it's going to tell us all kinds of good things about the ball flight. Smash factor. Smash factor is a function of how solidly are you striking the golf ball. Okay, so we're going to set up and aim our track man or calibrate it to a target. I'm going to use that pole out here in the distance. Okay, I'm going to bring that down. And now track man is officially calibrated because it is actually that easy. Our track man, for instance, Tiger Woods does not practice without his track man much at all. And we'll go into the live screen. And then down, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, we have all kinds of information. Okay, club path, face relative to the path, the face angle, total distance, attack, how I'm hitting down on it or up on it, launch angle, that's the takeoff direction up or down of the golf ball. Smash factor is, again, the energy return to the golf ball through impact. Okay, so the higher the smash factor, closer to 1.5, the more you're getting out of contact. And that has everything to do with how close you're hitting the ball into the center. And the thing is, what you'll find in golf is how big a difference is made simply by where you strike the ball on the face. So, uh, I'm not warmed up, but we're gonna try this real quick. There's an internal camera in track, man. It's a pretty hip deal. So I'm marking up my face with my trusty dry erase marker so I can tell where I've struck the ball on the face. We can see such good things as, I'm a little too far inside out right there, folks. Nine point is a little too much, but again, that is okay, first driver, okay? You need to be warmed up to hit driver. I'm fine as I'm getting old. And we see things like uh, the face was closed relative to the path by eight degrees. That ball should have hooked off the planet. But wait a minute, it didn't, okay? It didn't hook off the planet because when we have an eight degree difference, path being to the right of the face, okay? That ball should be hooking pretty hard. But then you look at where I struck the golf ball. Hopefully you can see that. It was decidedly off the heel. Okay, it's right here. Now that causes something called gear effect. Okay, it's an opposing effect, if you will. I can't really uh, describe exactly what it is, but when you hit off the heel side of the dead center of your club face, which is not necessarily the dead center of your club face, okay, the center of gravity isn't necessarily right in the center of the club face. But TrackMan can help us figure that out. So, you know, I've got a smash factor of 1.48, so I wasn't that far off the sweet spot, okay? I launched it real low. The contact was low on the face a little bit. Uh, for 96 miles, the, um, the ball speed's 142. Not too bad for only 96 miles an hour, so I almost hit that thing solid. Okay, but let's see if I can get this baby a little bit more on the sweet spot. And the dry erase marker is going to help you, if you can use something like Smash Factor or just what the plain old distance, help you, the dry erase marker will help you figure out where the center of percussion really is on your driver. Because I'm telling you, it's not the way it's marked. Okay? So we're going to try to hit this again. Now that ball positively drew. Okay? My smash factor went down. What happened? Well, as I said I was going to try to do, I hit that golf ball much more off the toe that time. Okay, and the toe is the hook side. Okay, when you hit it off the toe, you will tend to hook the ball. When you hit it higher off the face, as I just did, as you can see there, hit higher off the face, 
the spin rate goes down. So I lost a thousand RPMs of spin on that one. Okay, oh, club spin, head speed, second swing, getting up there. Now the smash factor went down because I, I hit it, mishit it, excuse me, more severely than the first one. Okay, so I'll keep using these numbers and the mark on my face. Now, if you don't have the numbers, it's okay. You can see the mark on the face, and you can also see when the ball's going the farthest. Okay? So here, we'll switch that over to total. That's just showing there. All right, we're up to 240, but that's okay. We can get there. Okay? And we'll try it one more time. Now, that one there felt like I hit that super, super solid. Okay, <laughs> we're still a little bit on the inside out, Dunnigan. That's okay, we could fix that with a little practice. But the smash factor on that one has gone way up, 1.51. Now that tells me I hit the golf ball just about as good as I can hit it. You can see that contact a little low on the face, but hopefully you can see that it is just barely right of center on that face. Okay, and I'm telling you right now, the sweet spot on your golf club is closer to the right of center slightly. If you look at the actual center of the face, it's just how they're making them. I don't, don't know why they're making them like that, but it is. So the smash factor has gone through the roof. The club head speed went up by hardly any, right? A mile an hour. The ball speed jumped to 151. Spin rate, pretty awesome. Okay, and that ball went 268. Club head speed went up by one mile an hour. Launch angle is still too low. That ball can go farther, believe it or not. Just by how I hit it on the face. So I am begging you, please, when you come down, we watch. Oh, this I didn't show you this, did I? So this is kind of cool. Boy, a golf swing looks different from this view, doesn't it? This is the down the target line view. This is not the normal view that I would use to video somebody. This is the view I would use to look at what their club path is doing. It's coming from the inside of that white line. The white line is the target line. The blue line is the club path direction. You can see that's out to the right, 7.7 .7 degrees. The red line is the club face angle, and the club face is 2.4 degrees closed to the path, but it's still open 5 degrees to the target. So the ball takes off to the right, and then that, solid con that ball drew back, and that ball finished 55 feet to the right. So there you go, and that is how ball flight works as well as how hitting the center of the face works and please get you a dry erase marker and start practicing this thank you and have a great day hit them great john dunnigan golf master the game not just the swing